Adobe Photoshop is a photograph and still image editor designed to accommodate both print and web, as well as a wide range of disciplines. It's available in two varieties, Photoshop CS4 for creative professionals, and Photoshop CS4 Extended for 3D, video, medical imaging, and more. Let's start things off by examining the new Photoshop CS4 interface. I have several images open right now, all of which appear in a single window, at the top of which you'll see a bunch of tabs with names in them. Each one of the tabs represents the title of an open document, so you can see all of the images you have open at a glance without having to move windows and resize them and so on. If you have too many images to fit along the top of the screen, then click on this double arrow icon and choose an open image from the list. If you'd like to view the images in multiple side-by-side -side windows for comparative purposes, for example, go up here to the New Application bar, which appears to the right of the menus under Windows, and click on the Arrange Documents icon, and then choose an option from the list. I'm going to choose this 3-up column display. Then you can move documents between windows if you want. For example, I'm going to move this Carter 03 document into this third window, and I'm going to move Carter 02 into the second window, and then I'll go ahead and switch the first window to Carter 01. And these are all images of the same actor. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a keyboard shortcut. If you press and hold the space bar, you get the hand tool. If you also press the shift key, you can scroll multiple images at the same time. As in previous versions of Photoshop, you also have the option of customizing and saving your workspace. I'm going to go ahead and expand my panels and collapse the color panel by clicking to the right of the tabs. Then I'm going to bring up a couple of panels that I just can't live without, History and Info here. And I'm going to collapse those down to icons. In order to save this workspace, which by the way, automatically includes narrower windows here, each window being exactly the same width so that I can still compare my images together even on a small display like this one. To save my workspace I'll go up to the workspace menu here in the applications bar and choose the save workspace command. In addition to displaying your images inside of tiled windows you can move an image off into its own independent floating window by dragging and dropping its tab. And notice that a floating window appears in front of all panels, including the Applications bar. If you want to consolidate all of the open images back into a single window, go back up to Arrange Documents and click on Consolidate All. For those of you who are using a Mac, a brief note. You'll notice that my version of Photoshop CS4 fills up the entire screen and covers up the background applications. If you'd rather reveal background applications, as in previous versions of the program, go up to the Window menu and choose the Application Frame command. That will convert all of your open images into independent cascading windows. But you can go ahead and consolidate those windows together if you like by going once again to the Arrange Documents button and choosing Consolidate All. Not only does that put all of the images into a single window with tabs along the top for each of the titles, you can go ahead and scale that window as well to any size you like and see through to other applications in the background. If you later decide you'd like to restore Photoshop so that it covers the background applications, go back to the Window menu and choose the Application Frame command. Notice also you can turn the application bar on and off. Photoshop CS4 introduces dynamic panels for color and tone workflow. For example, we have the Adjustments panel, which allows me to create and modify editable non-destructive color adjustments with no menu diving, including on-image controls and 22 presets. I'm going to go ahead and add a new kind of color adjustment, Vibrance, to this particular image, and I'm going to increase the Vibrance value quite a bit in order to bring out the skin tones and the colors inside the eyes and the lips. If you feel like that goes too far, you can take advantage of the new Masks panel. I'm going to assign a pixel-based color range mask to this particular layer, just in order to highlight the skin tones and nothing else. I can also reduce the density value in order to lighten the mask and expose more of the image to the vibrance adjustment. And I can apply a feather value to blur the edges. 
Both of these values affect the mask on a temporary and editable basis. You can change the values anytime you like. Photoshop CS4 also introduces some amazing new navigation functions that take advantage of OpenGL. For example, you can rotate the canvas temporarily on screen without affecting the actual image file or the way that it prints. And in this rotated canvas view, you can still take advantage of all of Photoshop's functionality and all operations such as selections and pixels will respect true north. I'm going to go ahead and press the escape key to write the image once again. You can also use the zoom tool to zoom in continuously on an image and zoom back out as well. Every single zoom level is fluid and smooth, meaning that Photoshop displays all pixels properly in all views, which ensures more accurate still video and 3D images as well as better painting, text, and shapes. You can also toss the image with the hand tool and maintain nice fluid movements. Plus, if you're fairly zoomed into an image, you can take advantage of this new function that allows you to quickly pan to a different portion of the image. Photoshop CS4 also includes improved versions of the Dodge, Burn, and Sponge tools. To give you a sense, let's see how the Dodge tool used to behave inside of Photoshop CS3 and earlier, lightening pixels as you painted over them. However, it was a little too aggressive and ended up creating harsh color transitions. Compare that to the new behavior inside of Photoshop CS4, and you can see right away that you're assured much better results. Add to that new cutting-edge technology in the form of advanced image compositing and, in Photoshop Extended, improved video and 3D controls, including the ability to paint directly on a 3D model. The result is a more versatile, more accurate, more powerful Photoshop CS4.